Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. I think Grizzly is trying to get the turkeys off the back porch, but they not listening to him. <laughs> Welcome back to Homestead Heart, everybody. Today I'm in the kitchen making some more of my uh, homemade vanilla extract. And sad to say, I'm almost out of my vanilla extract, right? But I am actually getting ready to make some more. And I will take you all, I will actually do an update on the previous vanilla extract that I did. I'm going to do that video following this one because I want you all to get an update on how the extracts are doing, okay? But in any case, you all today, let me pause right here. So today, you all, I want to talk to you all about the canning lids and what I think. You know, I do get your questions and I, I thought I addressed this in a previous video, but there were some things that I left out. So I will go ahead and address it today and share with you my thoughts on those things. All right. So now you all, when it comes to canning lids, number one, um, I will answer this question. What do I think about the four jars canning lid? I've never used them, so I don't have an opinion on them because I've never used them before. Now, one thing I, I do believe from my understanding is that they are a family-owned business based right here in the USA, okay? But that's pretty much all I know about four jars, all right? I've never used their lids. Okay, now, number two. This is one of the things I want to talk to you all about and share with you that I probably didn't address in that previous video. These are my ball lids, right? I prefer ball lids, curl lids, um, and even the harvest lids, all one company, but I prefer these lids, okay? Um, reason being is because they are made here in the USA. Number two, they are BPA free. They do not contain bisphenol A. Now you probably hear that term tossed all over the place and might not quite understand just how severe, how severe that chemical is when it comes to being put inside of plastics that we use to drink water from, juice from, canning lids, <laughs> not these, these, right? So I'm gonna put the ball down and we're going to talk about these lids. These lids did not come from this country. Of course, they uh, say on the package, made in China. All right. Now, if you look, this is the brand. I've had these for a year. I've never used them, but this is the brand. Okay. Now, this, does, this package did not say that it was BPA free. And when I went back to Amazon to see if they even still had these online, with that company that they came from well the company's still selling lids but they did change the name so this is no longer top lock on their amazon shop it's completely different now it still has the little lines at the bottom can you see that yeah it still has the lines at the bottom so that you can write the date um that your can your, that your food was processed on you know, just like the ball does, you know. See how they have the same little thing at the bottom for you to be able to write down the date, you know. Okay, they still have them too. However, the ball, cur, or harvest lids are made in this country and they do not contain bisphenol A. And one of the things that you have to understand about getting lids that are not made in this country they do not undergo that testing with the USDA to say they are BPA free. They have not undergone any of that. They, they ship right from that country to your front door, okay? And just because their um, description, you do realize when you have an Amazon shop or an Amazon store, you can type in the description whatever you want to type in that description. It does not necessarily mean that it's true, okay? 
Now, have these been um, uh, approved by the USDA as BPA free? No, they have not. So these lids could very well contain bisphenol A. And one of the things that you have to understand about this is the damage that bisphenol A can cause to you, right? It can cause heart problems, heart issues, right? It can cause brain damage. It can cause diabetes. Did you know that? Did you know that? There is a direct relationship according to the testing that has been done um, using that chemical compound in the containers, the plastics that we may eat out of, like your children can eat out of plastic bowls that can contain bisphenol A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The plastic cups. Yeah. Plastic mugs. Yeah. Plastic plates. Yeah. All can have bisphenol A inside of them, you all. Now, the one thing you don't want to, and when you just think about those four things alone, high blood pressure, diabetes, brain damage. What was the other one? Blood pressure is, is another one that I, I can't think of it right now. But when you just think about those things alone, isn't that enough to want to be concerned that you do not want that chemical compound in anything that you're going to be using to go inside of your body, right? So you don't want to drink out of a cup with BPA. You don't want to eat out of a container. You don't want to store your food in containers that could contain BPA. And uh, unfortunately, the containers are not going to say this contains BPA, right? If you go and buy a bucket, it's not going to say this contains BPA. But what you do have to look for is something that says it's BPA free, right? You see, heart disease, brain damage, blood pressure, and diabetes. Those were the four I was trying to think about. But yeah, that's enough. That's enough. What it, and what about all of the other little effects, the unknown effects that could, you could be suffering from from having BPA in your system, right? Now you can flush it out of your body depending on your diet. But if you use something that contains BPA every single day, you flushing it out of your system will be, not. it's not gonna happen, right? So that's why even in food storage, when we say we store our grains in buckets, if you don't put them in Mylar bags, if you got a bucket that's got BPA in it and you put a Mylar bag in it, well, that's different. Your food is not going to make contact with that bucket, right? But if you're just putting rice in a plastic bucket and that bucket is not BPA free, then yeah, you do run the risk of that chemical leaching into your food. So you have to be mindful of that, which is why I choose to purchase lids that are made right here in the USA because I, I can research it and see, did the USDA approve them as a BPA-free item? So I can do that investigation on my own. I can do a little digging on my own to see what I find. But unfortunately, when you have lids, I don't wanna get these nowhere near one another. Unfortunately, when you have lids that come from other places, they are not required. There is no law that says, at least not according to my research, there is no law that says they have to be USDA approved as being BPA free if you're gonna use them for canning, for home preservation, right? And so while the USDA spends, <laughs> You know, they do great work. I'm going to tell you now. They do really good, good work, right? But if you really, really want to police something, then I would say police things like this to keep other countries from sending this. If, if you're really concerned about how people are processing their food, what foods they are processing, whether it's safe or unsafe, if you really, 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 really want to do some good work, I don't care how safe a food item could be. I had something up here with some food and I don't know what I did. Well, I probably put it up <laughs> to show you. But if you, you know, sometimes you can can things that are not USDA approved, right?
And then you have CPD. <laughs> CPD. You know, that will attack people sometimes for the different things that they can because it's not USDA approved. But if you really want to go after some people and attack some people over something that's not USDA approved, then let's start here. Let's start here. We really could use the CPD when it comes to things like this, okay? Why? Because I don't care how safe you can green beans. If you're canning those green beans and your lid, your lid has bisphenol A in it. What good is those green beans? So that's just something to think about, right? That's just something to think about. If you really, 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 really want to be concerned about what goes in the jar, then let's start with something like this, okay? So now you all, that's my, that's my take on my canning lids, how I feel about them. Again, I've never used four jars, but this is how I feel when it comes to my canning lids. I don't even use this for storage purposes. No, I could not make myself can with them just to experiment to show you all the quality of them because even if my jar did not fail, even if the lids kept their seal, I still don't know what this is made of. I still don't know what this is going to do to that wonderful food that I took my time to grow and harvest and preserve. I don't know what this is going to do to it. So I couldn't even bring myself to do an experiment on it. I, I couldn't. And the reason being, because I didn't want to do an experiment that said the lids that were made in another country held up good however because i didn't want to be responsible for anybody else going out and buying these things so no you all now that's just my opinion you know like i say it's your kitchen right it's your kitchen right do what you want to do okay i can't tell you what lids to use it's your kitchen. Do what you want to do. I'll... Now look, you all. See, that's just how I feel about it. So when it comes to... I'm going to go ahead and toss these in the trash now. Ah, yeah, I done held on to them. That one on the floor. But I... <laughs> they flying out the trash. They like, no! <laughs> but you all... I'm choosing, oh, this is a curly, Boop. and this is ball, and as you can see, it's the exact same lid, made by the same company, they just got two different names on them, that's all, but it's the same lid, you know, so I just choose to stick to those, right, I just choose to stick to those, those have been tried and true for decades, so I just think I'll just stick to that, all right, so you all, that's what I think. I would love to know your opinion in the comment section below. And if you have used lids from other country and they other countries and they work for you, that's perfect, you know. But, you know, as for me in my kitchen, I've made my decision and I'm sticking to that. All right. So you all, I hope those of you who asked the question found that uh found this information to be helpful because I know I didn't really address like direct reasons why i'm not using those lids i did say i didn't want to take a chance on my lids failing and all of that but you know one of the greatest things is always going to be what are they made of what's in these things i mean you do know there are some clothes you can't even buy that come from this country because of whatever chemical dye or whatever they could have used in the clothing that they make that could leach into your skin and cause terrible terrible health issues for you so you have to be careful you have to be careful when you are buying no matter what it is eyelashes nail polish because did you know some nail polishes have a chemical in it that can really make you sick that stuff gets into your bloodstream and takes forever to get out and you know you just start you have to be careful 
You really have to be careful, you all. So, but any case, I'm going to get back to my, my next batch of vanilla extract. And I am about to do at that update video. So if y'all want to see how my vanilla extract is doing, then y'all stay tuned for that. Okay. Cause I don't think I talked about it really. And it's been over a year. So it's time for me to talk about it. <laughs> all right, you all. Thank you all so very much. If you haven't done so already, please give our video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. And I do thank you all again, all of you for all of your support. New subscribers, existing subscribers. We appreciate each and every one of you, all right? Thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I'm going to see y'all in the very next video.